Good day, good day, Royal fans. Today is Royal News. Buckingham Palace accused of trying to bury inquiry into Meghan Markle bullion claims. Buckingham Palace is facing accusations that it has buried an inquiry into bullion allegations made about the Duchess of Sussex. In the years since the inquiry was launched, just four or five members of the Sussex's 25-person team have been spoken to, the Daily Mail has reported. Those who have been asked to provide evidence have reportedly not heard anything since last summer. No findings from the probe have been published by the palace and it is unclear when they will be brought to light. One source revealed this should have been an opportunity to do the right thing. Now it looks like they are going to do nothing instead. It has been a very difficult situation for all involved, but the palace is a very powerful institution and they clearly seem to be on a, be a cultural problem of not handling bullion, particularly when you consider some of the allegations about the way Prince Andrew is said to have treated his staff over the years. An internal inquiry into bullion claims was launched by Palace Aides last March. It has been claimed that Meghan Markle's behaviour led to two personal assistants quitting their jobs and a third losing confidence in themselves. The Duke and Duchess's former communications chief, Jason Snuff, reportedly submitted an email alleging unacceptable behaviour by the Duchess in 2018. It is claimed to have been the spark that prompted Prince William to separate his household from the Sussexes. Historian Robert Lacey claims an angry phone call between the brothers ended in Harry hanging up as they clashed over claims the Duchess of Sussex left at least one worker suffering post-traumatic stress disorder due to the toxic environment. William went ballistic when he heard the allegations and later instructed his private secretary, Simon Case, to begin dividing their households immediately, it is claimed. The claims have been branded a calculated smear campaign by the Sussexes who fiercely deny any wrongdoing. Tough times. That's all our news for today. For more royal content, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Until tomorrow, goodbye for now.